in this case study question uh, about tower cranes are given okay these are the information about tower cranes our main question starts from here a crane stands on a level ground it is represented by a tower ab see here ab is labeled here and height uh, height is 24 meter then a jib br that means this one 16 meter length is given can rotate in a vertical plane okay can rotate like this suppose like this so rotate in vertical plane upward and downwards can be rotated then a vertical cable rs of length 8 meter carries a load s so diagram shows the current position of the jib cable and load so using this information we have to solve some questions question number 1 is what is the distance bs distance bs means this distance so since we know this uh, load is traveling vertical direction this we can consider as 90 degree okay so we can apply pythagoras theorem here br square will be rs square plus bs square br means 16 given rs means 8 given okay so 256 equals to 64 plus bs square 256 minus 64 that is 192 so 192 can be written as uh, 3 into 64 okay so while if we take square root we will get 8 root 3 meters so first option is the correct option in question number 2 what is the angle that the jib br makes with the horizontal so angle theta we should find actually okay so what we will do sin theta we know since it is given and this also we got but we will use this without root so sin theta we know rs opposite by hypotenuse right so rs by br so sin theta will be 8 by 16 means 1 by 2 okay but sin 30 is 1 by 2 that we know so after comparing these two expression we can get theta is nothing but 30 so theta is 30 degree which is there in b option so b option is the correct option question number 3 is what is the measure of the angle brs angle brs means this angle so this theta we got as 30 okay this is 90 so by using angle sum property this has to be 60 30 60 90 triangle triangle right so answer a option will be the correct option next question is now the jib br has been rotated and the length r is increased so as we know it can be rotated vertically okay upward and downwards direction so suppose it is rotated and rs length is increased now rs length is increased suppose like this and the load is now on the ground this load is now on the ground so that means this is our new rs okay and this is the horizontal of the jib so that we will name as suppose t this is now and uh, rs length is now 8 uh, uh, we cannot consider as 8 meter okay so rs is 8 meter uh, length uh, load length is 8 meter that was from for previous question now we cannot consider 8 meter what is given rs length is increased by rotating this jib and it it is uh, load is on the ground on the ground at a point 8 meter away from a that means this distance is 8 so if this distance is 8 this the this is the horizontal bt this also we can take as 8 right and now since the position is different uh, jib position is different now so same angle we cannot consider let it be alpha okay jib and horizontal making alpha angle okay and this is if this is 24 this has to be 24 st 
so this is the thing happened here what is the angle through which the jib has been rotated so alpha angle we should find here okay actually not alpha alpha will be the new angle after suppose see this is the position of the jib before with the angle theta now it has been it has been length is increased okay and it is rotated through suppose like this it has become so this is alpha after getting alpha okay we will subtract to get the uh, angle through which it has been rotated so how to find alpha jib length will remain same okay and bt we got as 8 so here we will apply cos angle cos alpha is adjacent by hypo that means bt by br that is 8 by 16 so cos alpha will be 1 by 2 but we know cos 60 is 1 by 2 so alpha will be 60 okay so previous angle initial angle was 30 initial was 30 final angle we got as 60 so you can see the difference is 30 degree that means 30 degree only rotated to get the final angle 60 isn't it so to get the angle <coughs> 60 minus 30 we will do so that is 30 degree that is c option is the correct option next question is what is the length by which rs has been increased okay like that means in from previous question we have to take some values here okay so this we know 8 this we know 8 this is 24 okay rs is uh, this is not s this is rt so that means we should find rt okay rt we should find first this is not given so 16 and 8 we know so rt we can find by using pythagoras theorem rt square will be br square minus bt square br square means 16 square minus 8 square same thing only in previous question number one we did 256 minus 64 192 so rt will be uh, 8 root 3 so this is 8 root 3 okay so we got rt but rs is what rt plus ts okay so 8 root 3 plus 24 sorry rs rs is what rt plus ts okay so this is new length new length of load okay and old length was 8 meter if you remember rs first question so what is the length by which it has been increased that means increase in length will be new length minus original length right better use original word original length so new length is 8 root 3 plus 24 and original length is 8 so 24 minus 8 we can do that is that will be 16 so 8 if we take common root 3 plus 2 will remain inside the bracket meters so that we can see in b option b option is the correct option